I'm going to be making a Grand Theft Auto game from scratch in just one week. But since it's tough to compete with a AAA studio, my game will need to meet three criteria to be called the GTA game. One, there needs to be a city with pedestrians you could violently attack. Two, there should be cars and you could steal them. And three, there should be a wanted system when you commit a crime and law enforcement should attack you when you do. There's also one more constraint. I can't spend any money, any music, 3D models, or other assets I use. Either I need to be free, or I need to make them myself. Now with all that explained, my time starts, uh, now. I don't have a lot of time to waste, so I found these very cool free building models for my city. And to spice it up a bit, I drew some grass and built a nice green space that definitely won't be the scene of any future massacres. The game's also looking a little too dark compared to other GTA games, so I'm gonna make it look prettier with post-processing. Today was more or less a warm-up, but the next few days is when the real fun begins. It's day two, and now that the city has some buildings, I want to give it life with people. Mixam was a free Adobe site where you could download these awesome character animations for your game. <laughs> it looks like this guy maybe hasn't quite figured out walking yet, but that's fine. It's time to enter code mode and teach him to walk. And after a little code, he's finally walking. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, you know what? Um, I'll fix this tomorrow. So last night, I had this idea to use pathfinding, like in this other robot game I made. It's a built-in Unity feature that analyzes the map so characters can smartly walk to avoid you and other buildings. I also added a gun, but since I was busier than usual today, the NPCs are gonna have to be invincible superheroes. At least until tomorrow when I'll have time to add pain. I've hit around the halfway point now, but I still have a lot of work left. The first thing to do today is to add ragdoll physics. So when an NPC gets shot, they'll fall. This is clearly working great. Okay, I made some code changes and now he's no longer a bobblehead. So if it worked for him, it should surely work for... Okay... Okay, I got it working by dipping my bullet in holy water first. Now this friendly guy surely isn't gonna cause me any... trouble? So apparently I needed to remove the colliders from the NPCs. But now they could die gloriously. I found this free car model to end the day. And tomorrow I'll be putting the auto into my Grand Theft Auto game. Okay, three full days left. I wrote some code to add a car camera, and I could drive around the block now and recklessly endanger people. But GTA has more than one car, so guess what this game just won? A red Corvette. This blue car also uses pathfinding now, just like that NPC, so it could drive on its own and eventually be stolen. Or exploded. How's that for ending today on a bang? There's only two days left and I still need a wanted system. But first, stealing cars. This poor ragdoll will get tossed out of the car when you steal it. And here he is getting his car stolen. Now that that's working, I need to write code for the wanted system. Basically, you'll get stars if you do bad things and lose stars if you don't. And while you have stars, police will show up and try to kill you. So I added a cop to the game and made it track your position. Oh, and you can also kill the cop. Tomorrow's my last day to finish the game. And I really need to make the police smarter so they could kill you back before I run out of time. Today's my final day to finish the game, so uh, let's get to work. So I just made a few code changes so cops will surround you when you get a star, and they'll also try to kill you for your crimes. But I can't call this a finished GTA game without any sound effects. So I've spent my last couple hours adding them, and now you'll hear sounds when you shoot someone, explode a car, and even die. And that's it, time's up. Let me know if I did a good job making a GTA game in one week, and if you don't disagree, consider subscribing, it's free. You can also download the game free in the description. And thanks so much for watching.